Thank you for tuning in to Devo's here today. And all this week, we're talking about what you are going to do. I, I believe that every person I have goals and dreams of things God wants them to do. Now, today we're looking at whatever you do, put your heart into it. Whatever you're going to do, put your whole heart into it. Now, the first day I was talking about the will of God. Yesterday, I was talking about putting, paying the price. I mean, do it with all your might. Okay, now today, I want to talk to you. Put your heart into it. Now, look with me here, Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, work heartily. Do you see that? Whatever you do, be happy. Put your heart into it. As for the Lord and not for men. So, so that means you're like, well, I don't like this job, or I, I don't like what I do. And Okay, well, when you do it, do it for the honor and the glory of God. That's what God wants you to do. I, I was in a meeting yesterday, and here in this business meeting for the church, I, I, I was at a bank, and I saw the manager of the bank. And I, I've seen her before in action. It's always the same way. When the customers come in, oh, hey, how are you doing? She makes you feel that you are the only person in the whole world, the most special person. Her employees, she talks to them with such grace. She talks to her employees like she is a servant to the employees. The employees love her. The customers love her. And I'll tell you what I like. She's a Christian. She goes to my church. She loves God. That's the way you ought to be. Put your heart, put your heart into everything that you do. This, this is the difference that you see with people, that you have to have a servant's heart. Uh, look, look here. Put your heart and mind and soul into it, and your body will follow. Okay, this is a really big secret. So what you do is this. You say, you know, I just don't feel like doing this. I mean, let's say you feel tired all the time. Get up earlier. Don't leave the house for work until you're really ready. I mean, get, get along with the Lord. Do a little bit of exercise. Be sure you look your best. Okay, then... When, when, when you get out there and you just, you're kind of depressed, you feel real kind of dragging and tired. I want you just to act like you're happy. I want you to put a big smile on your face when you don't want to put a big smile on your face. You know why? Because you're doing it, remember, for the Lord. Okay, and you know what happened? When you act like you're happy and when you, when that, somebody asks you to do something, you don't really want to do it, but you know you should Say this, say, they ask you, say, sure. <laughs> Do it with some excitement. Sure, sure, yeah. And in your mind, you're thinking, ah, I don't want to do this. Well, don't let them know that. You know why? Because it's a servant of Jesus Christ. And if you're paid at that job, or maybe this is in your family, you know you ought to do it. Okay, now, if you put your heart into it, and you put a smile on your face, and you respond correctly, you know what will happen? Your body will Follow your spirit, your soul. Your body will follow. You'll get into it. All of a sudden, you will want to do it. I'm telling you, this is for real. I'm not making this up. This will make you a happier person. It will make you a better servant. Now, now I know life is rough. Look, look it says in Job 5, 7. Here's Job. You know, he lost all of his children, lost all of his wealth. And then he says this. Man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Wow, you see what's going on over in other parts of the world right now? Pretty bad. Okay, there is endless trouble and problems. You say, what, what, what do I do with this? This is what you do. Get used to it. <laughs> you can't get used to it. This is life. This is where we are. This isn't easy. Listen, bad things are happening around you. You don't have to let it affect you. I want you to be like Teflon. Don't, don't let anything stick. Look here, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation, this is trials also, has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with, well, with the temptation, also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Listen, you want to live for God. If you're in something and you're like, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, don't worry, God will he'll get you through it or he'll give you a way of escaping to get out of it. You know, this reminds me of one man down south. Big storm came along. It destroyed his orange tree. Oh, he was so upset. 
And finally, he said to somebody, well, what am I going to do? Look at my orange tree. It's now knocked down. And they said, gather up the fruit and burn the tree. My friend, listen, you can't li let life get you down. You've got to put your heart into life and never lose your heart. 